can't walk in redemption. So until I, so once I saw the nigga was trying to redeem himself, yeah, I f with him. Oh, he go to church? Okay, yeah, I f with him. But now that kept trying to do I'm not going to lie. I don't think Charleston started with him because of that. I feel like he slid up under him under that rock because he know that boy hot like firecrackers. You hear me? He had it in the 4th of July. He had it in some taco shells from Taco Bell. Do interview with me and now nah, I ain't doing nothing with that nigga, my nigga. So once he done the Danger Project, <laughs> then, but you couldn't have done the Danger Project without using my name. So the trying his manager trying to play like she knows something. She ain't a girl. Man, don't know what to do. He's so confused and misguided. But one thing I know, he ain't no lawyer. He turned on thug Neil. He'll turn on me Thug Neil. The nigga turned on thug. People in his ear. So it's easy to get in his ear and do the nigga like a puppet. I don't <laughs> with niggas that cause harm to they people. Bro, Wait, you, who, who's in he caused he caused verbally verbal harm to his people. So what is he talking about, bro? He bro, what is he talking about, bro? Here. His team, the that I used to that used to work for me, that was telling my wife about my girlfriend. We're going to go tell my wife about my, my girlfriend. Was Let I me find out he was knocking the manager down too, though, bro. Charleston a trip. All my wife being and my wife being that's how the got fired. Being in me and my wife and my girlfriend being that's how that got fired. Being in me and being in my motherfucking personal business. Charleston, you need to pick between your wife and your girlfriend. You need to stay out of it. <laughs> you ain't even got no business speaking on. He be talking crazy. So that's why that's who it is, real. Because I'm trying to show them how to get real money. I'm trying to show them when you come here, you ain't got to give her a percentage of your Say Cheese TV interview, my. I set it up for you, for you, and I ain't getting nothing off of it. I ain't gonna lie though, bro. I honestly, like honest opinion. Like, and, and, and just because I think that it don't mean that it's true, but I think that Charleston was probably counting, like, he was asking them, like, how much you pay him? And he like, damn, my first one, I ain't get that much. <laughs> I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all let me know down below in the comment section, man. That's real. I'm setting it up for you, and I ain't, nobody gets a percentage of this, my nigga. Come on. That's what they mad at. I'm gonna show them how to get paid directly. I got the TV networks. I got the TV networks mediating between Ryan, Ryan with the sauce to, for me to talk to him to say, hey, Woody, can you stop doing so many 20 versus ones? The 20 versus two with you. Y'all let me know who y'all wanna see in the 20 v one. Would y'all rather see Charleston or Lil Woody? When Charleston surpassed so many numbers, the television networks wanna turn this into a series. We already got the script wrote out. Can you tell him slow down? They won't listen to nobody because they all poor and broke. <laughs> Y'all go watch Wait, the Say so, TV to get you to get the rest, baby. He, he definitely was live on Facebook or something. He was gassing it up. Nah, I, would, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is a play. This is a play. So do you do you think that's the agenda to divide y'all because it brings in more revenue for him though? Parties? Because I'm gonna show him. Just think, his role manager and his manager both used to work for me, and they don't know a motherfucking thing. Both of them dumb and stupid. He ain't too intelligent. His motherfucking self, dumb, dumb and dumber, <laughs> dumb, dumb and dumber. So I'm showing him my nigga. You used to be a gang banging nigga. I'm a game nigga. I'm smart. I'm sharp. Nigga. I can show you rather than tell you. Let me show you my nigga. I f with you. I see you have some remorse for what you done. I see there's some empathy. But my nigga, you can't show it in these 20 versus ones. Pull back from all the, and let's get you a documentary. Let's, right now we got your present story. The world have come to know you from being a shooter, turned snitch, turned court witness, turned YouTube star. But we don't have your backstory. How did you become a shooter? 
How was you raised? Where was you raised? What's the trauma? What's the abuse that caused you to become so violent where the FBI will have you listed and documented as Atlanta's top 10 most violent criminals? You still have victims on the back end, brother. Have you forgotten about that? So how can I walk with you with who I am in the community if we can't go get the backstory of who you are where we can walk with redemption with you? So that's what I was telling her team to do, his team. Tell him, say, homie, you need you a documentary. We need to get the backstory of who you are. So you, so him and his team got mad because on a platform, I identified him as I remember that. He went on No Jumper to speak against me. I had been calling him days before that interview, not knowing he was mad. And I'm not going to lie, though. I know that Charleston was mad. When Adam, Adam did that on purpose, bro. He wants Charleston. See, look, bro. Charleston White is the hottest on the internet. Lil Woody is the most hottest. Lil Woody is up to date hottest. You feel me? But as far as the long term consistency, Charleston White knocking them out, bro. So, no jumper been seeing like the algorithm is Charleston White, Lil Woody. So I feel like Adam did a chess move, bro. You're picking up some game from whack, as I could see, because it worked. But I think this with him and Woody is a play. And I always said it's a play, but he really feels some type of way because Woody definitely went on no jumper and uh, put it on the flow a little bit. He didn't tell it all, but he put it on the flow and said, he, you know, so we, we know the truth, man. This is a play. He could have easily picked up the phone and said, bro, why you do that? I noticed his team in intervened and, and said, hey, we don't want him talking about Mechanicsville. But y'all didn't intervene when he talked about Charleston. When the narrative was, you are, you have shot up people. So you get mad at me for speaking about you being a kid when it's documented who you are and what you are, only for you to turn around 10 minutes later and talk about how many nightclubs you done shot up over the weekend in Atlanta. That's it. So I finally get in touch with him when I go to Atlanta. That's how you see me and him at the aquarium. I wanted to go to the aquarium just to clear my mind, see something different, get off, you know. So I invited, come on, nigga, me and you. You're finna say, get off YouTube. He's smart. Can't get consumed in this, bro. You're gonna get sucked in the portal, bro. It's just ongoing entertainment all over the globe, bro. You be having a bad day, get on YouTube, you have a good day, but then you're going to end up having a bad day because you came out the metaverse. Now these real problems hitting your head, you feel me? So, yeah, man, he, he just understands that. Yeah, it's okay to go crazy, but you got to give it a break, bro. I ain't turned my computer on all today. But I had to come be consistent. Thank you all for coming out, man, and rocking with me. Let's go to the query because I want to talk to him about what the network was saying. He bring his girl, his daughter, and the big bad nigga Barry White. Ho ass. And Avi, what's the deal, man? I was gonna say something, but I'ma just edit this out. I was really making a video though. So yeah. But uh yeah, man, what's the deal, man? I see you going crazy. Appreciate you. Barry the dick ride nigga. Barry was just on my lap not too long ago. Hmm. Barry. Barry met Woody through me. I wake up one morning when me and Woody done our first 20 versus two. I wake up, look out the window. I see Barry. My phone was ringing. I answer my phone. It's Woody. Him and Barry downstairs. Downstairs. Woody don't know where I'm He standing. sound like my grandma, bro. Downstairs. They got, they got like that. They say words a little different, like soda. And they going live. So now they done blew my spot up. <laughs> Which I ain't tripping. But he done, he riding Woody dick. Without my permission, he done gave Woody the location where we stand at. Not that I'm tripping. But nigga, you ain't, you ain't gonna do this. Cause you want to ride now. But I f*** Woody, so I ain't tripping. But now I know where everybody in Atlanta know where I'm staying. I go live there anyway, so people find out anyway. So later on that night, I'm hanging with thug them people. 
My nigga, oh yeah, I'm hanging with, with, with Queen. Queen is close associates to nut. Thug, everybody. We at Blue Flame, my nigga. This whole ass nigga Barry riding Woody dick so much, he whispered to me, say, I told Woody to come up here. What? Homie, we in the club with nothing, them cousins, people, everything. Say, homie, you playing, my Nah, I ain't gonna lie, though. Charleston playing. He playing. Because if you rocking with them people, why you going with... Why? That's, 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 that's nasty. That's nasty work right there, bro. We just gonna say it like that. That ain't right. That's some fugazi, flu flammery right there. We ain't doing that, bro. That's like, you know? Because you know you gonna... You, Char Charleston pops it. So we know he gonna pop. Way too much. She probably gonna wake some, wake some up. You feel me, homie? I fuck with Woody, how I fuck with him, but I fuck with him away from these people. <laughs> these people are close associates to Yak Gotti and, and nothing them family, my nigga. You don't know this, cause you playing internet, nigga. I don't mix this, nigga. Fuck you doing? I didn't. You didn't ask me this, nigga. So I tell him, homie, nah, nigga, you gonna get all us, killed, my nigga, trying to ride clout. Come on, my nigga. This nigga shot up clubs. This nigga done things. Come on, my nigga. We need to come on now. I fuck with him how I fuck with him. I went to church with him. I also want really that bag. Look, look, he said he went to church with him and pause. He couldn't think of nothing else. <laughs> if he had so much of that bag talk with bro, you feel me? He really a good Lord nigga, but it's too easy to play on it on his on his on his unintellectual mind and everybody playing on him especially everybody playing on him so when i go bad on the nigga barry about giving up the spot and bringing woody over here with these people i don't hear from barry no more mm -hmm. next thing you know i see him with woody every day <laughs> man ho had Chad, so I tell Woody, man, that whole ass nigga just, and I tell Woody, his manager don't know what he's doing. My nigga, let me show you. They booking you for anything because she getting a percentage. Let me show you, my nigga. You ain't got to do this. The percentage you giving to this rotten hoe can go to your baby girl, my nigga. Your woman. Now, that is true. You don't, you don't... I definitely believe in that, though. Like, you know, if you're not like no big time person, you, you shouldn't. Like if you you can't show me the success, like physically, like the things that you done, ain't none of that manager, none of that, bro. So yeah, they definitely get a couple of dollars off you. They don't put in no well, I don't know. I don't know. It's just kind of weird though. But he definitely don't need no manager, bro. I don't believe in um having a manager and paying the manager a certain percentage. I got a manager. I I I tried to make her my manager. Mm. Building them up. I, I, Build I, I a manager. Try, I done took people who've never managed nobody and made them my manager. And, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give them the sauce. It just... I'm going to take somebody that I know. I ain't never did it and we're going to get it in. And they start to try to act like they know what they're doing. You ain't never managed before. So what's the what's the problem with somebody taking a percentage of? There's, let's there's, say, I, there's, let's there's, say I, there's no problem, but all money ain't good money. That's a fact. Mm, got you. That's a fact. And once you get to a certain level, it's certain things you just don't do no more. Once you reach a certain status, I agree with that. Hundred percent. Once you just I, you tried to tell me that, my nigga. Yeah. You tried to tell me that with the big chief situation. Yeah, you oversaturate yourself. Man, you going to go back to get a has being no name nigga that's gonna ride your you trying to tip in so many yeah, words without saying. I did. That. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. But I but I, I, I didn't listen, but I listened. Uh, so now my You learn my from mistakes, your mistakes, bro. It's all right to failure. make some mistakes. I ain't gonna lie, everybody learn from their mistakes, bro. I even learn from my mistakes. So you understand it was different when you make the mistake. And now you know what not to do. So that's why I say that you don't need a manager. You got to get your feet wet, bro. I teach that.
I teach that. No, my n So I'm trying to show him, not tell him, not teach him, but bring him with me and show him. Mm. And show him. But, nigga, why you doing that, my And I don't do that for nobody. Because I took a liking to him. Like I told him this morning, nigga, I could think no. you a spirit man. Nigga, that's why I went to church with you. A youngster. A I smart you young. Your family, your kids, your A smart. A smart kid that I know and trust. Not a kid, but like a teenager, like someone that's, you know. Niece is your nephew. Nigga, I brought you here to my city to take you away from something so I can show you something. My mother's still alive. We got dinner at my mama's house. My nieces and nephew want to meet you like your nieces and nephew want to meet me. We're going to go to mama's house. Mama go pray with her. We're going to have a good, clean fun. I'm going to take you away from this nigga that's got you where, where you at mentally. Mm. And where you can hit, so I can show you something, sit down and show you the business of this. And the way you going, them white folk go get your ass. You think they don't want they lick back? Why he you so think harsh? White people, the whoever, whatever <laughs> government entity that had you on that stand, you think they don't want they lick back? So you moving real. No, nah, but but the people, there's nobody around you that got the knowledge, that got the wisdom, that got the understanding, my nigga, that God has given me to try to impart it to you. Cause nigga, I don't wanna fuck with you. Mm. I told him I don't wanna do nothing with that nigga that nigga shot and kill people. I couldn't wait for him. I would go, I would go shame him. <laughs> but once they put us together, I say, man, it's really just a little boy that still hurt, lost his mama at an early age. Just want to be a part of something. He really liked me with the one eye. So he went over there. <clears throat> he went over there to suck the blood out of his neck like a vampire. But then he started getting his backstory and he started feeling bad for him. Probably like, damn, that fucked up. You know, his mama dead and all that, man. And I'm over here just saucing him down. He got a baby and all that. Just want to be a part of something. Be willing to crash out and throw his life away just to get a hug from the big homie. He just like I was. So I connected with that part of him. Mm. But then I had to tell him, say, sometime when you're doing them 20 verses ones and them holes make you mad and you stop smiling, you can see that darkness in your eyes, nigga. I heard a whole say it when we did the 20 verses one. He quit smiling, he got real. She, that killer came out in his eye. I say, my, nah, listen, you laughing. <laughs> I looked him in his eyes, my nigga, and saw the darkness because he was mad. I said, yeah, nigga, when you stop smiling, nigga, you can see that. I told him that myself. Mm. So every now and then, he want to remind us that he's still a gangster, he's still a killer in certain situations. And <laughs> every now and then. You man. can't do that in redemption, my nigga. Charleston funny, bro. Charleston White is funny, bro. <laughs> he funny to me, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. So how you going to be offended by me calling you a killer when at times you still remind people that you yeah. do it? And that you was what you were. You still challenge people to come try you. So you can show them. Come on, my. So once I see what I see and I know what I know, I don't go against what I see and what I know, my. I hung the phone up in his face this morning. I can't walk with you, my. It's too easy for people to get in your ear. That's how you went crazy in the streets, nigga. You displaying these same traits and behavior. I got the text message, man. They in people in my ear. I already know it. My you can't think for yourself. That's what make a nigga like you dangerous in the mother. But one thing I know, however dangerous you is, nigga, you don't want to go to jail because you told to get mm. out of jail, nigga. And you got on that stand and you told them how bad they treat you when you go to jail. They put you in the back and they try to break you in your mind. They try to break your spirit. They try to break you when you go to jail. So, nigga, you don't want to go back there. I was shocked uh, seeing the no jumper situation. I, I honestly was too. Thought was I playing. didn't even know he was mad at me. I had I no I idea. Playing. I had no idea he was mad at me until the interview came out because I had been calling his phone. I had no idea he was mad. So the same shit he said there, he could have said on a motherfucking phone to me, man to man. Man to man. 
But he a little boy operating in a man body. That's why he too easy. That's why he can be persuaded so easy. Yeah, I thought y'all was playing on us. Nah, my nigga. Uh, I know he being played on. I just took it with a stride. Because I know he being played on. Because if you go see what I said, nigga, I didn't say nothing to paint him in no bad light. No more than what he's already painting himself. How, how did the conversation go this morning? Did he raise his voice at you? Was no, he upset nigga, with you? when I talked to him after that interview, I told that nigga, nigga, don't ever go on no white boy platform, my nigga. Yeah, nigga, I damn near quit fucking with you. Nigga. I said, homie, don't ever go on no white man platform to tell me what you could have told me on the phone. Nigga, I was calling you. You could have picked up the phone and said that, my nigga. He said, yeah, you right, man. Uh, man, people was in my ear. I already know his manager in his ear. Cause she don't, I'm the only one know, the don't know what she doing. She just got my roller decks. That's why if you notice, he's backtracking everywhere. People done tried to reach me. I know the bitch don't know what she doing. The bitch still working on the job. So no, hmm. so it's a, and I'm sharper than his mind. I'm going to make him stronger as a man and show him, nigga, you can conduct your own business. I booked his flight. I sent him his itinerary. He called me back at the airport and said, man, you didn't send me my seat where I'm going to be sitting at. I said, what? Nigga, if you print out your ticket, your ticket go tell you. He didn't know how to print out the ticket. Man, this is a new lifestyle for him, though, man. You can't. It's a new lifestyle for him, uh, man. I don't you can hold tell grown man here, my nigga. I talk about niggas like him. I ridicule yeah. street. I ridicule and bash and shame street niggas like him. They can't come operate in the real life. Have to be dependent upon people. But you've been shooting up your neighborhood. You a real gangster. Nigga. But look what you got to be dependent upon somebody nigga, for something so simple. But you could tell he just now starting to get money too. Like uh, we well, even posted well, him. Well, uh, I understand. I understand he just now starting to get money. But what I'm saying, I'm packing fur and I'm playing fur with you. The people yeah. around you is getting money out for you. I'm saying, listen, my and they only way they got to him is using my name. The only reason she let him manage, he let her manage him, she was using my name. When I talked to that nigga yesterday, that nigga told me, I met you through her. I said, nigga, no, you didn't. You didn't meet me through her. She was already managing you when I met you. That's how I met you. She trying to book me with these 20 verses too. Nigga, I didn't know you for then. In his mind, that's what he thought. Did you see that video where he's in um he's sitting on a four wheeler counting like a hundred thousand in his hood? Um, when we seen that, we posted that on Say Cheese, and a lot of people was like, you could see that whatever he was doing with YSL, he wasn't getting money for that. Like this is all new to him. This whole all this is new to him. And he doesn't know how to deal with all these people coming at him because he never really had real money before. Yeah, that's why I got to get away from him. Uh, he go crash out. He don't know how to, it, it, and he's, he's too easy to be manipulated. He can't think for himself. He don't know how to get by himself and think for himself. That's the avenue I was trying to open up for him. I'm telling him. Homie, listen, the white people want me to talk to you. Let me bring you down here. This was the conversation we had. Let me bring you down to my city, homie. While you down here, I'm gonna put some money in your pocket. Make you about 10, 20, 30,000 while you're here. I bad chat at the white that call, want to talk man. To me and you, because homie, you killing, you killing the game. You oversaturating yourself with the 20 versus ones. Nothing is gonna surpass those 20 versus twos that we did. Homie, they got a bag for both of us. A bag. And they are asking me to talk to you because they've already tried to talk to you. But it's his team mm. that keep booking him for Because they still off mm. in the ghetto. They Let's see what Woody talking about, though, bro. I ain't going to lie. We finna watch this video, though. Because I posted it, but I never watched it, bro. Damn, that shit got 343 dollars. 343,000. Y'all know that I posted this and I ain't even watch it. 
You grown, but you ran to the end there, act like a little boy. Nothing. You bashing people that don't do nothing to speak good on you. Like, you got a lot of jealousy in your heart. A lot of, a lot of hatred, a lot of anger. I mean, you wrong, you wrong the people that ain't even wrong you, you lying. Like, everything you doing is for content. Like, you don't want no money, man. You want, you just want to go viral. You just like clout. And the sad thing about it, yeah, bro, like, you lying. You feel me? Like, what I got kind of, what I got kind of, uh, looking for guns in, out there. I don't need no gun. I'm protected by God. You know what I mean? That's stupid. I, I, I got on a, a flight to fly, to fly to, uh, to, to, that. The airport, what, what, I'm, what I need guns for, bro? Like, man, come on, Charles White, you, you on here, you taste the clock real bad, bro. And it's sad, bro. Like, I ain't been that good to you. You know what I mean? Like, see. What he like when Charleston speak, them people start getting on my trail, man. Seriously. And you, you run straight to the internet with it. Like, come on, that little boy Larry shit, bro. We ain't, we ain't on that type of time, bro. You mad because I, I want to do an interview for free. Yeah, you think I'm stupid. I play on you, bro. Yeah, I know you want, I know I'm falling right into your hand because you got them folk, you know what I mean? Hey, we know who you are, bro. Have a good night. Bye-bye. On your team, and that's what y'all want. Y'all want to hear me respond. And I'm going to do it, too. I'm going to respond. Yeah, you know what I mean? He mad because I didn't do an interview. I don't care about 10000 I can turn it down. Hmm. And I mean, money don't make me who I am. But you, you want me to... You want me to jump for when you want me to jump. You to my you you flew me out there, bro. Come on, man. Like we ain't we ain't doing all that, bro. You know what I mean? Like for real, for real. All they thinking you can come to Atlanta and walk around with whoever, bro. You can't just do that, bro. You know what I mean? Like I ain't looking for problems. But if you want problems, I give you what you want, bro. You know what I mean? Straight up, bro. Like you 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 doing too much on the internet, bro. Mm. It's for real, for real, bro. Come on, man. Bear white. Uh, Angel, they don't, they don't speak bad on you. They watch all your interviews, you sit there and dog them out. You, you mad at them because you jealous, bro. You mad because they gravitated to me. Them folks ain't betray you. They didn't cross you out. They ain't use your name for no clout. They ain't. Angel called me and said she used to work for you. She didn't call me and say, oh, she worked for you and this and that and third. No, ain't nobody, what? What is you doing? You, you, you called me. Well, they don't do these 20 verse one, ain't gonna weigh out, weigh out, and then you doing 20 verse one. Man, you ain't really got nothing going on. You don't want money. You want clout, bro. Mm -hmm. Everything you do is about clout. Clout, clout. You and the rest of these boys out here about clout. Every time you with me, yes, sir, yes, sir, you taught me with respect, and I taught you with respect. Not Charleston telling Lil Woody, yes, sir. Respect. But as soon as you go somewhere else, you want to be disrespectful. Like, come on, bro. You grown, right? You a grown man. You ain't scared of that. You don't want to. Man, come on, man. It's just sad, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? You claim that. You, you this type of person, but look look at all the stuff you doing, bro. Come on, man. Like, seriously, bro. Like, yeah, you thought you gonna come out there and be who? I moved around your whole town. No security, no weapons, no nothing. Only faith in God. I ain't understand nothing nobody talk about on no internet and in real life. Mm. If somebody wanna bring home to me, then so let it be. Mm. But other than that, man, I'm not living my life in fear. No man. Mm. Straight up at all, bro. Like, for real, you chasing clout. You you only got wet plug with Say T T V. Who care about Say T T V? Yeah, baby, go watch Say T T V right now. No disrespect to what he got going on. Shout out Say T. He's gonna allow you to miss out on hit in the field what he got going on, then that's what you call stupid. Other than that, bro, I ain't I ain't no type of gopher. Yeah, y'all think I'm a gopher and I let y'all think what y'all wanna think. I let y'all say what y'all wanna say. Yeah, smiling, man. I, I, I talk myself not let words get to me. But when you're going to get on here and try to bash other people that been good to you, bro, come on, man. Cut the shenanigans, bro. Come on, man. Man, you, you friend, bro. Like, at an all-time high. You mad because I ain't do an interview? You want me to go sit down with somebody? TV show. All this stuff in your benefit. You called my phone a hundred times. I'm forwarding you to the voicemail. I'm not responding back to your text message. You want to read half of the text message. Read the whole thing. I told you, bro, don't get on your platform speaking on my name. I asked you nicely, bro. You tell me I'm a killer, I'm this and that and third. You can't name nobody I kill, bro. You can't name nothing about me. You come around, you ill hustle, and you try to go on these platforms and tell my story, but they don't know I'm feeding you wrong information because I know this is what you do. Mm. Yeah, everybody so Basically, he's saying he gave him some cheese because he know he was going to bite. You feel me? He just seeing what he just playing, seeing if he really for him or really not. You feel me? 
and you know who probably put them up to it? The messy ass managers. They messy. Real messy. <laughs> yeah, keep thinking it. What's up with it, Misty? Come on, bro. Straight up, man. Gang in here. You grown, man. Less you over it. Get that hate out your heart, bro. Right, Leading Blair, you appreciate you. you. Shout you out, too, man. Shout out to you. Most people got to come tell them. I don't care about leaving the line. Like I said, bro, you lying, bro. You know I'm on papers and everything. You get on the, on the internet lying to me. I'm looking for guns. What I need a gun for in Texas? What I need a gun for? I don't got no problem with nobody out there. What I need to walk around around looking for guns for? If I feel like I'm put, be put in, in, in harm's way, I won't even go. I don't go places I got to carry a gun. Or I feel like I got to carry a gun. Mm -hmm. But you try to make my probation violate me. Guess oh. what? You ain't hiding on the internet no more. You try to clout, bro. Come on, man. Get paid, bro. I did these 20 verse one with you, bro. Everybody already know people really ain't want to see you, bro. You know what I mean? 